a.m. It is Sunday, December 19th, the last Sunday of fall. I'm Michelle Vias. Let's get a quick check of your weekend forecast with meteorologist Shauna Mendiola. Good morning, Shauna. Good morning, Michelle. It already feels like winter out there with those temperatures in the 30s for some, 40s for others. Chilly start to our day, but we're warming up to the 60s today. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Good morning out in the valleys. This is Universal Studios right outside our studio here where the sun is shining. And if you're coming to visit us, we've got nothing but sunshine today. Upper 60s free in the valleys and Inland Empire. Once we get to about lunchtime, that's when we're going to hit our daytime highs. So once again, please dress up warmly as we have for the past few days. I'm not expecting anything too crucial today. So it's a peaceful, beautiful Sunday on the way for us. And then we've got some action to talk about here this week. I'll have details on that on the way. Back to you, Michelle. We're following developing news out of Exposition Park. A performer was stabbed to death at the Once Upon a Time Music Festival and law enforcement is searching for the killer. Now this morning, the LAPD and CHP won't confirm who that performer is, but just a few hours ago, TMZ reported that it was LA rapper Draco the Ruler who was stabbed. TMZ is also reporting that he died at the hospital. We are still working to confirm that information. We do know, though, that the festival headliners included prominent rappers 50 Cent, Ice Cube, and Snoop Dogg. The LAPD says the festival was cut short after the stabbing when a fight broke out behind the main stage at around 8.30 last night. We will, of course, bring you any new information as soon as we get it. Now to the pandemic. LA County health officials reported more than 3,700 new cases of COVID yesterday alone. And that is more than double the number of cases from last Saturday. And it is the largest number of cases in a single day since August. NBC News has confirmed so, that President Biden plans to deliver a televised address Tuesday about the nation's COVID situation. According to a White House official, he will announce new steps to assist communities as the country is seeing more cases of the Omicron variant. The president is expected to add to the winter plan that he has already unveiled with additional measures. And happening now, the rise of the Omicron variant and surging COVID cases are not slowing down holiday travel. Look how busy it is at LAX. Today is expected to be one of the busiest days of the season there. NBC4's Lauren Coronado live at the airport to give us a look. Lauren looks very busy. Michelle, it's expected to be twice as busy this year compared to last year. Air travel definitely making a comeback. Take a look. This is where folks are checking in right now. A long line behind me. You can see here everyone ready for travel. LAX is projecting peak travel days to be today, the day after Christmas and January 2nd, with about 200,000 people flying each of those days. Overall, LAX is predicting 3.5 million travelers this holiday season. If you're flying domestically plan to arrive here at least two hours before your boarding time international travelers should get here three hours ahead of boarding if you're traveling internationally remember there are some new federal rules you should prepare for international travelers returning to the u.s must receive a negative covid 19 test result within one day of their departure regardless of vaccination status we caught up with a few passengers who just beat the busy crowds and flew out late last night most feeling safe about their travel plans in terms of the pandemic we are a little worried but we're all vaccinated and including my son so we got booster too we got the vaccine and we're boosted so and he's got his vaccine which is great 